Nebraska agriculture is very fortunate to have Don Bacon as our congressman. We're going through a time that's a little bit tough for agriculture right now with the trade embargoes and everything, but I'm sure that Don is going to do things that will help us in the long run to improve the economy and our trade imbalances. If we can do that, we will have better trade and agriculture will prosper as a result of all that. Don has been our congressman for a little over a year. Uh, he's an ag boy. He knows what ag is. He knows what ag suffers. He realizes this and he's willing to go work for agriculture in Nebraska. Hello, I'm Don Bacon. I was raised on a farm until I was 21 years old. I um, used to bale hay four times a year and I remember uh, graduating from four high on hay bales to five high. That was, that was a big deal. Uh, that means I, I really grew up. And uh, so I was also in charge of all the the cow manure, the horse manure, so I was the oldest of, of the kids of that, so I got some good training. Then I learned early that you want to clean out those pens every week, because if you don't, it gets worse. <laughs> and so, uh, my, so I learned some good job skills. The agriculture for Nebraska equates to one in four jobs throughout the whole state. And in Omaha, uh, it's the number one industry, even though it's not f farming per se, it's the food processing, it's the, uh, the combine builders, the irrigation makers, it's the commodity uh, companies, it's the transportation folks. Our banks will tell you the number one loans are to agriculture, uh, you know, directed type loans. So our state is a very agriculture oriented state and uh, we, we need to realize that the strength of agriculture equates to the strength of Nebraska when it comes to our economy. We're the only country in the world that spends less than 10% of their income on food. And because of that, we need to open up trade doors because that is our competitive advantage. We can outcompete anybody in the agriculture sector, not only with our farmers and ranchers, but with our logistics, our transportation, our ports. And we, and we need to make uh, grow that trade surplus when it comes to agriculture. So I'm a strong proponent for free trade and opening up doors all over the world to our grain and our, and our meat products. Now I'm concerned about what we're doing right now with, our, with the tariffs, because uh, it's gonna fall back on our farmers here in Nebraska primarily. But we also have to acknowledge that China has been a problem. Uh, they steal our intellectual property using cyber theft. Uh, they flood the market with subsidized goods. And so our, it is right for our president to tackle this. So I acknowledge we've got a problem, but we also got to protect our farmers and our ranchers in this process. And I've asked the president to be very cautious about how we move forward. Uh, we, we know farm prices right now are at 49 cents on the dollar from 2014, and our farmers can't take much more. Uh, so we, we need to make sure that we're looking out for our agriculture community. Well, we really appreciate both as, as farmers and as Farm Bureau members, you, re, you representing the agricultural sector. I mean, you understand it because you grew up with it. And, and that, that's important, you know, in, in I believe from what you've said, and, and as we know it, you're just a little bit, that you know, you're, you learn to work hard, you learn to plan ahead, you learn to, uh, to make smart decisions, and we feel that you've been a great representative, and I really, really appreciate it. Thank you, you very appreciate much. It. Appreciate you it. It's my honor. Thank you, sir. You bet. Thank you, Nebraska Farm Bureau, for your support. I will work very hard to protect our agriculture and ensure it's always the world's best.